Today I want to show you how to replace the lens barrel of my Canon S100 camera. I, have, I am having a lens arrow since uh, last November and uh, I, opened, I already opened my camera once and tried to fix it, uh, retract the barrel manually and it still got the problem. Then I re then I order uh, the lens from eBay and just arrived a few days ago and I'm still not very confident that this could uh, fix the problem but that's, the, uh, that's what I hope it could fix the problem that's my last resort and hope this will fix it this is the camera I received from eBay and there are some connectors okay let's start opening my camera the first thing I would do is to remove the battery before I do anything then so I won't have any problem with the power so the very first there are six screws you have to remove one two three four five six when the six screws have been removed, you can open the back. That's what you will see. At the same time, you can remove the front as well. But be careful, there is a cable attached to the front. So make sure you are not breaking the cable. Now, we want to open the top. And you have to uh, release this screw and there is one more screw from the side here to get to the lens we have to open the display there are two screws has have to be released here is one and there is another one after the two screws have been removed you can remove this uh, metal piece which is hanging on to press the display on its position. Now you can open the display and there's still ca ca uh, cable attached and what we are going to do is we have to release these two screws. One is here, the other one is here to remove the part at the front. To remove the part from the front there, uh, because there are there is a cable attached to the top part and to re we have to remove the top, this top part as well and there are two screws you have to remove here is one there is another one below this part and make sure you look how to put this part back and now I'm going to remove the two screws on the top the two screws of, uh, on the top have been removed and now I have to open it from the front make sure the display is not dropping now open it need a little bit of support and I'm going to remove this part In order to remove the lens barrel from the front, uh, there are few screws here to, to be removed. I'm, at the moment, I'm not too sure. I guess this, they are these four screws. So let me try it. I just realized there are only three holes here. One, two, three. So it should be able to remove the lens barrel with two, three screws as you can see from my lens here there are three cables and I have to disconnect these three cables before I remove the lens barrel and here is one I have to open the connector using the screwdriver and I think I should open this one first
And here is the third one. So that is now I hope that this one can come out. First you have to get uh, this part out of the way and then remove the lens barrel. So we will look like this. Okay, now I just put all the connectors for my new lens and just give you an overview how do I organize my screws. I draw some picture how do I remove the screws and then use sticky tape to put it at this place. So make sure I can put all the screws back to the, its position. I just put the lens back from the front and now I need to fasten uh, the screw. One, two, three, here. Oh. Now I have to put the uh, top part back to its position by screw this two screw back to their position here. Not to forget there are still two screws here missing which holding the small part I showed you before and now I have to put this, not holding the barrel but holding a different part on, at the, on the side. Now we can put back the display and this is holding the display so make sure you stick here to the small hole here and then press it down So, and then put back these two screws here. Now we have to put the top part back here. This is holding by two screws. One is from the side. And the other one is at the front here. Now the top part is uh, return to its position and the last one is the back uh, with this, the six screw that, that's the easiest part for the whole operation okay now this is a original lens barrel and I got everything uh, back to its order and you can see all the screw have been used, no screws left and this is the moment of truth honestly I'm not very confident with this because I think my problem maybe is not a mechanical problem it's somewhere else so but it's still worth to try because the it only cost me about 21 Australian dollar and maybe I can save my camera with this Okay, now I'm scared. Turn it on. I have no idea what's happening. Now you can see it's turning up and down, up and down. Oops, it's getting crazy. Get the battery of it. Something is happening. I have no idea what's happening. Try again. Now I've got lens error again. Okay, it didn't help. Maybe I will try something else. See how it goes. I just realized that the connector here, I didn't put it the uh, cable correctly. Now I put it back in the right position and I think it's working now the 
then Sparrow just retracted. And I hope it will take photos. So I'm going to put this back together and try to take some shots. As I mentioned before, uh, I realized the cable wasn't connected correctly and make the camera uh, go crazy and the uh, lens barrel uh, go in and out. Now I put it back in its right position and hope it will work. Okay, you can see there's no more lens arrow and uh, if I skip this one and try to take a photo. Yes, you can see there was a photo and uh, I will keep this camera, camera for a while until I find a similar GPS compact camera because this is a very good camera and if I don't know why I got the uh, lens arrow at all. Uh, I didn't drop my camera. Uh, if you have dropped your camera and got a lens arrow, and maybe you can try to fix it uh, by ordering a new lens arrow from eBay for $20, uh, it's worth to have a try and fix it. And I hope this video is useful to you. And thank you for watching. Bye.